Hello all, in this video, I'm going to share with you on how to prepare a presentation package that can be uploaded and stored in the cloud. So what happens is we would only need to share the URL link as well as a password to the target audience and then it will be accessible to them. So it is under this portion here, under export and under cloud. Okay, bracket early access. All right. So again, um, we're going to go ahead and go to file and open up a demo scene. In this case, I'm still going to use the materials room. And next, what we're going to do is we are going to prepare a couple of image in the presentation first. So I will just go ahead and add an image of this view followed by another perspective of this view here and I will just go forward and something like this okay so we're gonna end up with these three views here and next we're gonna go to media and go to presentation and from here I will create a new presentation again and then we're gonna click here to add media so I'll click here and we are going to drag in these three images here two and three like that so we will end up having this view transitioning to the next and then to the next so this will be this will be our simple presentation all right so once this part of the work is done already we will proceed on to export and instead of using this one presentation we are going to use this this portion here the presentation at this portion under cloud early access so we're going to click on this and we're going to select this presentation package once the selection is made we will click on export and you'll find that twin motion would want us to accept the agreement and so on we have to accept this if not we won't be able to use this function so we will click accept And what would happen is Twinmotion will then upload the entire model to its cloud services. We will just have to wait for a while. All right, now that the export is successful, we are going to click on the button here, Open Twin Motion Cloud. And it will prompt us to sign in. We're going to do the necessary, so I will sign in using my Google account. So you will notice once it is successfully uploaded we will end up with a presentation package here already and there will be a link generated here a URL generated here and there will be also a password generated down here as well so instead of having to submit a good 20 to 40 gigabyte huge file for uploading we can now substitute this with simply a link and a password all right so that we can protect our work and privacy so i will demonstrate to you what's going to happen we're going to we're going to copy this copy this link and i'm just going to put it here and paste this link so what will happen is when someone wants to access this link, a password will now appear here. So what would happen is we will need to have that password in order to be able to 
in order to be able to access this site. All right. So again, I will now copy the password and paste it in. And then the join presentation button will now appear. So we will click on that join presentation button. I'm now going to save this. And a blue status bar will now appear. So it's going to take a little while, usually less than a minute or so. And once the bar reaches the end, the presentation will be prepared and ready. And then we can use it. And there you go. So once the presentation is prepared and ready, we will end up with the interior scene here, along with some guidance on how to use the navigation tools at this point. All right, the usual um, ASDWs, the QEs, and then the arrows up and down, the middle mouse buttons, etc. So we can just close this prompt, and uh, to fully maximize the view, we can press the F11 key. We can toggle the F11 key here to maximize the presentation, and we can click on this button here, open media strip, so that we can see the three camera points that we have captured here and then once we are quite ready we can also play the videos all right so this is the full screen toggle in case we are not going to use this f11 we can use this button to full screen toggle as well and there will be also a button here that will allow us to adjust some preferences for example, time of day, time format, and also if we have a VR goggle, we can use this further as well, whether we want to be in walk mode or fly mode in this case. And also we can adjust the units in meters, the height differences, whether we want it to be at the height of a higher height or at 1.7, let's say the standard height here and all. And then we can have the option of changing the rendering mode in its default mode or we want it to look like foam for example or look metallic wood plaster etc i'm just going to toggle it back to default for now and all we can also do a little bit of change or tweaks to the render quality and once we are ready we can close this by clicking on the button, the close button here. And we can click on the play button here. So that will toggle through the, the three views itself if we don't have any animation. And there you go. Of course, the user is able to navigate the spaces in real time okay, either through the use of mouse or the ASD keys to navigate this way as you can see the quality is quite smooth and you will find that it is very very easy to just upload this and we don't need to prepare a 20 gigabyte presentation package anymore this way i hope you find this useful please try it out